What's up, my YouTube family? This is your girl, AJ, and I know y'all miss me because I miss y'all too, but your girl been going through a little something, you know? I been going through something, so I had to go on, go through it off camera. Nothing like that, but you know, life happens, shit happens, you got to keep it moving and keep pushing, but y'all already know what I'm going to say. If you are not subscribed to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, and if you F with me the long way, go ahead and get this video a thumbs up. Now, y'all, it is Talk Topic Tuesday. Now, I told y'all in a video, I don't know how many videos I made because I ain't been making no video, but I think in two videos ago, I told y'all if y'all have a question or y'all want me to read an email, if it's something y'all want to talk about, then shoot me an email. And baby, somebody sent me an email and we about to get into it because this is going to be good. Now, I'm not going to disclose who the person is. I'm not going to take a tag name or none of that. But what I will do is I might enter the screenshot of just the message itself, but without her name so y'all can see that I did not send this shit to myself. So let me read y'all this talk topic Tuesday because it's juicy, honey. We got to give her our opinion. And if y'all don't agree with what I'm saying, y'all get in the comment section and let her know what you would do because she need us right now. Sus need us. But let me read it. Okay. It says, hey, AJ. So let me get straight to it. I am nine months pregnant. I got these, huh? If I stumble, I'm sorry. I'm nine months pregnant. And I found out that my husband of 10 years has been cheating on me the entire pregnancy. As a matter of fact, I found out that it's been years since he's been hooking up with this person. It's not the first time he cheated. He swore after the first time that he would never cause that type of pain again. To make matters worse, I recently lost my father and found out all of this months after his burial. And being that I am due to have our baby any day doesn't make it easier. I was so hurt and angry when I found out that he had done this. That I was headed to the courthouse to divorce him. And after some thought... I decided that I wanted to work it out and not lose my family. But on the other hand, to know that your husband is doing these acts with other women and staying married to him makes me feel desperate. And maybe I'm staying because my vulnerability, 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 vulnerability. <laughs> to deal with the loss of my father please help do you think i'm desperate to stay with a with a man who cheated knowing how much it hurt me the first time i really need another woman's pers perspective god damn it rubber bands perspective because my mother always talked about my father cheating but she stayed for 60 plus years with a man gonna be a man mentality all right let's get right into it now what i will say is first of all you were married so it's a whole different ball game. You just can't, you know, pack up and leave and and, and decide to and just take the handle change. things a little differently. And you you do have to go to the courthouse and get a divorce. But what I will say is, when it comes to a marriage, I've never been married married before, and I can't really give you marital advice. Um, I can give you only my opinion. And like I said, this is only my opinion. You guys get in the comments if y'all want to help her out. I'm just gonna tell you how what I would do and how I would handle it. Now, when I'm in a relationship, when I love, I love hard. Which means I'm going to ride for you. I'm going to ride for you till the wheels fall off. And I'm very passionate. And, and all of, you know, I'm there. I'm rocking with you. I'm, I'm going to be your ride or die. And if you make a mistake, I'm going to forgive it. And we're going to keep moving. But if you keep making that same mistake that I keep forgiving you for, I'm going to have to sit back and be like, hold up. Wait a minute, player. Wait a minute, player. Hold up, player. So wh wh what are we doing? What are we, are we playing in the schoolyard? That's what we're doing. Because last time I checked, we took a vow. To get married, which means that you weren't doing all that bullshit. So you don't want me to go out here busting it wide open? I expect you to do the same. But men don't think about that. Sometimes men actually go out here and cheat because it may be their they money ain't right. They may not be cheating, being treated right at home. They it, it just may be something, some kind of disconnect with them. And it happens all the time, but that doesn't give him an excuse to cheat. So what I will say is... You want to keep your family together because you're about to have a new baby, and you just want to, you know, you want to be, you want to be in a in a relationship, a loving, happy marriage. I get it. So what I would say to you is, if you want to save your marriage, first write down all the good stuff. You know, Tyler Perry said this years ago. Write down the good and the bad, and if the good outweigh the bad, then go find you a marriage counselor to help y'all get through this and actually get him to go to a counselor or a therapist by himself to figure out exactly what it is that he's missing in y'all relationship that's causing him to step out because y'all took a vow to get married you got to y'all got to figure out he got to figure out exactly what it is that he's missing within himself for him to keep cheating 
And then also you need to go get you some, some counseling too as well to deal with the, the death of your father and deal with him cheating because it's going to take both of y'all to actually get through it. And, it, and it's going to take some work if you're willing to get through it. But um, like I said, if you want to stay with your husband, can't nobody sit right here and judge you because a lot of people cheat. And I'm going to tell you right now, if I'm in a marriage and I ain't, it, to my future husband, just do not give your motherfucking ass permission to cheat. Just don't. But if I'm in a marriage and my man cheat, I'm going to give you a, I'm gonna give you a second. You're going to get one pass. You're going to get a pass because I ain't giving no bitch my husband. You ain't getting him, baby. I, I signed them papers. You're going to have to, it's going to be to death do us part. But if you go cheat, oh, I'm going to make your ass pay for it. You're going to, you're going to. Feel the raptor of you cheating. I'm not just gonna let you get away with the shit. You gonna pay for it. I'm gonna pack my shit up. I'm gonna leave, and you gonna have to fight for me. You gonna have to do what it takes to keep me, cause you shouldn't went out there and made the mistake. I didn't. So you got to put put fear in him. Put fear in him. Put fear in that ass. If he cheats, put fear in him. You find his ass cheat. You pack up all your shit in the house. I mean, you line that shit up. You even take the pictures off the wall to let him know you mean business. Take the damn pictures off the wall. Pack the kids up, and you go stay at a hotel. Go stay at your mama house. Go stay at somebody's house to let him know that you ain't willing to keep ta ta taking the mistreatment. Let him know that you're willing to stay and you want to work your marriage out. But you'll be damned if you're gonna stay and keep letting somebody che cheat on you and mistreat you because you want y'all family. He don't. So make his ass pay for it. Go to counseling therapists. Get all the help y'all need to get to work your marriage out. If that's what you want to do. Can't nobody sit right here and judge you. Because I cannot tell you what I would do in that situation. Everybody tell you what they will do. If it happened to them. But a lot of people will stay and probably fight for their marriage. It just depends on the situation. It depends on the man. If he's just doing everything wrong. He can't hold out no job. He ain't taking. He ain't cutting the grass. The trash piled up. He ain't, he ain't spending time with the kids. Like you struggling to pay the bills. Then, sis, get rid of him. Get rid of him. Go to the courthouse and go on the divorce his ass because you can do better than that. But if he got other things that is outweighing him cheating and he just can't keep his in his pants, then I say make his ass pay and make him fight for his family. Don't don't let it be you. Don't let it be you. Y'all get in the comment section and let her know. And if y'all want y'all letter read or y'all want some advice on something so everybody can give you, you know, they own opinion y'all get in the comment section but um that's about it like i said i'm not i don't want to get on here and tell somebody to leave their husband or, or none of that because like i said i went it, a marriage is a completely different thing when you're in a marriage you got to do stuff different and you got to rock with that person to death do you part that's the thing right now people get married to have a whole wedding no, 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 I say a wedding. They, they just get, yeah, that's exactly what I'm saying. They get married just to have a wedding, have a party. They want to put on these fancy clothes. And they want to get dressed up. And they want to get the hair done. And they want to do all this stuff for show. But it's at the end of the day, it's like, are y'all really getting married because y'all love each other? Y'all get married because y'all want to have a party. People don't value marriage like your grandma and your granddaddy them used to do. They don't. People do not get married. People don't value relationships or marriages anymore. So, like I said, like if. You old school, you want to keep your husband, baby, keep your husband. I'm not going to judge you. I'm not going to judge you because if you don't keep him, somebody, the next bitch going to pick him up and try to wife him. And she going to, he going to find somebody who's weak and who's willing to put up with your bullshit. Have y'all ever noticed that any man to get with a woman and you was willing to call him out on this bullshit, you strong and you going to let him know that you ain't willing to take his bullshit. He going to go to somebody else who's willing to, to sit back and not say a damn thing, let him do what he want to do. And she still be there. Them the men, them the women that men marry, most of the time, they marry a weak-ass woman because they don't want nobody strong. And I don't know if some fellas are watching me. It is. It is. Glenn, the real deal. You usually watch. Go ahead and comment in the comment section. What would you do if you found that your wife was cheating on you and you were doing everything right? Would you stay with her? Give her a second chance? Would you fight for your marriage? Or would you be like, nah, I can't. Men can't swallow that shit like women can. They'll go out here and fuck 20 women back to back. And the moment you do one, he can't handle it. They can't handle the same hurt they give us. You know why? Because we strong, baby. They can't handle the same hurt they give us. They can't handle it. They can't handle another man knocking knocking their wife down. But they'll go out here and knock everything down. And then they have nerve to say, you know what? We can have sex with our feelings. We can, we can go bust somebody down and not have feelings. But it's like, but you hurt me in the process. So you can go out here and have sex with somebody that you don't know and have no emotional con connection with her or no kind of feelings with her. You gonna risk that for your wife? Like, make it make sense, fellas. Make it make sense. Make it make sense. 
Because if you go cheat, be be in love with her. Be be somebody that you can't live without and come tell me, you know what? I thought you was the one, but I met somebody and I just feel like God just put in my path. I just got to see what it's going to be. And I say, you know what? I'm hurt, but I appreciate you coming to me. Let it be some love. Don't let it be some. And then they cheat with these old busted down ass. Oh, you be like, what the fuck? Cheat up. That's what y'all do. Do y'all go out here and get somebody who look like they just stepped off another uh, bridge in Atlanta asking for some damn money. And if you've been through Atlanta, you know exactly what kind of people I'm talking about. That's what they be looking like. Busted down hobos. They don't get no bad, bitch. They don't get no bitch. You be like, ah, damn. I would have hit the bitch too. No, they don't get down one of them. They get her. I ought to knock the motherfucking hell out of you kind of women. They get them kind of women. They get the women that you be want to knock them upside their damn head for. So I know you ain't cheat on me with that bitch. That bitch ain't got no edges. I don't either, but y'all know what I mean. But anyway, y'all, <laughs> I got another video coming up with a story time so I can tell y'all what's going on. But if you want to be a part of the Talk Topic Tuesday, send me some emails, y'all. It ain't got to be about no. Just send me something so we can have fun with it. And we might even go. I tell y'all what. If y'all send me emails of Talk Topic Tuesday, we will go live and read this. And y'all know I don't go live. I would do that for y'all. We would go live. Actually, we'll I'll do a premiere and we'll and I'll talk to y'all in the um in the comments and we can kind of give our feedback. So y'all send me emails. If I get three of them, I go live. And we'll do it on live. If not, I'll do a premiere and we can talk in the comment section. Either way to go, we're gonna be interacting together. So y'all do that. And thank y'all so much for watching. Bye.